Whenever you want to hear my story, come see me. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pikmin 4. We're getting Olimar's Shipwreck Tales done, which is kind of like Pikmin 1-2, or P Olimar's Retcon. It's weird. I'm still trying to understand if it's truly a retcon, or if it he just got stranded again. From his reaction seeing Pikmin, I think it might be a retcon. This time, we're gonna talk to this guy. Who are you, this guy? You're like a blue version of me. Hey, thanks for taking the time to rescue me. I'm Sammy. I can usually be found researching cheery blue skies, moody rain clouds, you know, all that weather stuff. This planet has mighty fun and nice weather. It's so pleasant all the time. Clear skies just make you feel so good. It's as if your worries and cares clear up too. What a gorgeous day. It doesn't matter what day or time. I always find the sky simply enchanting. When it's bright and blue overhead, it's because the air is clear. Weather like this is always so welcome as far as I'm concerned. We only get about one day of sunshine for, per year where I'm from. from. I, can't, I just can't get enough of these constant blue skies. Where I come from, the weather can get really dangerous, and the sky is almost always hidden behind gloomy clouds. It rains a lot with tons of lightning, and hail and snow are everyday occurrences. It's been refreshing to discover that it isn't like that here. Have you watched a sunset on this planet yet? It was the first time I'd, I'd ever seen one so clearly. I mean, I've seen pictures and books before, but wow. So that's what a sunset looks like in person. This person is literally me. For real, for real. I am exactly like that. I'm, I'm the kind of person who just honestly loves nature in all aspects. I, I love appreciating those finer details, and I think in no small part due to growing up with this game. Sup, schnoz? Been a long time. It won't be long before we collected each and every treasure on this planet. I'm sure I'm certain of it. Here's the treasure catalog. Please, do take a look. It's a common practice to present an expensive gift to your intended when you propose. I didn't have the means to do so when my wife and I became engaged, and I've always regretted that fact. But at least I still love her as much as I did back then. Why are things the way they are? The answer can be surprisingly simple. For example, my kids will often dismantle a clock or, or a chair, or tear up a piece of bread just because they can. Maybe there's no significant reason that this picture is in pieces either. That little bump at the end makes this look like it has a nose. Noses make me think of my son when he was a baby. He'd often forget my face after I'd been gone for long stints of work and cry when I got home. But once I knew the distinctive shape of, once he knew the distinctive shape of my nose, he recognized me right away. Its shape is mesmerizing. I only wish I could understand how it was sculpted. The more I think about it, the hungrier, hungrier I get. Thankfully, the salty and sweet pillowy interior is as re-energizing as it is delicious. But then I start thinking again, and the cycle continues. I can't pinpoint the exact moment, but this reminds me of the face my wife once made when I delivered a perf perfectly executed dad joke. I think this might be a tool for warding off predators. Perhaps if I attached it to my back, the creatures of this planet would be deterred from chasing me. I could test this theory on the Pikmin. Of course, they might end up carrying me instead, treasure and all. The Serene Shores. Nine days remaining. Yesterday, we cleared out all of the water. Today? I want to clear out everything besides the water. Well, everything besides the water in the castle. So what we're going to do... Take out some blues. I feel like blues really just are the king here. We'll take out some reds just because... I haven't seen any need for yellows yet. The her the uh, the aristocrabs are going to be a problem, especially when they can retreat and, and attack out of the water. Let's use the reds to do this. Um, while I have everybody here, I might as well just break these. It's going to save time. There's that guy over there. Ow! Jump off. Die. There's another one of those guys. Huh. Do I just fight him now? Are they going to be able to complete it, I wonder? Oh, they are. Okay, cool. Uh, let's get the floor lick now, because that's going to- that's just going to pay off dividends. The sooner I can get that, the better. This is broken. 
All we got to do is just waltz up. We might need yellows for this, actually. You know, I haven't swarmed them on a Wallywog yet. I'm going to try it. Maybe I have, actually. Okay, Ochi, you take care of that. Oh, oh moss. It looks like I need yellows for this. I do. Okay, so what we're going to do... I only need five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's send Moss back to base. And then fight. Good. Fight the Wallywog here. Let's fight this one first. Thankfully, they don't glitchily jump up right before they're dead and kill all my squad. Um. Um. <laughs> do you see that whip tongue Bulborb over there? He appears to be a bit frozen. Huh. Wait. They're both frozen. <laughs> they don't load properly. That's great. That's really funny. All the other enemies usually work well when it comes to that. Okay, you are going to be very annoying. In fact, I'm tempted. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Pack. I have two of them. Later. Pretty good damage. If I do say so myself. Move. Get him. Wait for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's dead. Sorry. There's nothing I can do about that. Move out of the way. You know, I like having a C stick, but I will say, having it tied to the camera is very annoying. Very, very annoying. I don't know what they were thinking with that. I mean, I feel like there's probably another available button you could do. Like, on it, uh, I don't even know how you do that with the buttons that, that are on the controller, but there's a way. There's a way to do it. Uh, shoosh. I suppose the coast is clear on that. I think that's fine. Okay, you're going to go over to the Florlic. Olimar with your 12 Pikmin. Am I really facing Whip Tongue Bulborbs with 12 Pikmin? I don't think I am. I need yellows. Okay, so we just need yellows. So I think that I think it's time. I think it's time to go back to base, kind of regroup. Uh, oh my word! Did I really do that? I really did that. I didn't switch them. My Dandori. Well, we again. We needed to go back to base, and we needed a bunch of yellows. So I suppose it's okay. Come on, Olimar. I don't want reds right now. So we're gonna put. We're gonna put all the Pikmin I have with me away right now. Yeah, we'll take out 24 yellows. Ah, I wish it was one more. Anyway, it could be one more easily. Yeah, that's fine. Reason why. One. There. If it's one more, then we can get the floor lick and lower that, um, that thing. And then, while, again, while I'm close to base, we might as well clear this out, because this is going to be... This is a dead end. We have all of our Pikmin. Uh, we'll take out... We'll put the reds away. Oh, my word. Let me... Thank you. There we go. That was incredibly frustrating. There's some weird lockout window on the onions, like taking Pikmin out of the onion. Not a fan of that. Do I need to jump up onto that ledge? No. Okay. So we're going to dismount. One, two, three, four, five. Switch over to Ochi. Send them over there. Actually. We're going to... Disband. Switch. Grab all of them. Go. And now we're gonna fight this weird... I don't even know what this thing is. But it's back's turned. That's nice. Come on, knock it down before it eats P Pikmin. 
Kill it. Kill it. Kill it so I don't have to look at it. Please. Get out of the way. I don't want that interruption. Please kill it. Get it out of my sight. I'm not even sure if there's a ship part over here. Go, 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 go. Get it out of the way. Go. He's, he's such a weird enemy. But he's not difficult, thankfully. All right, get that. Um, I suppose we'll get that too. Yeah, we'll get that too. Set more Pikmin on it just to get it done faster. And then, uh, Olimar, you go back to base. Just chill. Moss. You get that done. Are they still frozen? They're still frozen. That's good to know. I wonder when they're going to start moving. Okay, you're there. I should be able to take care of this with just a well. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is... That is something I need. Free throwing master. Whistle. Free throw. Whistle. Free throw. Whistle. Pikmin in this game are very, uh, they're not responsive to the whistle. As, at least as much as they should be. And so you kind of have to whistle early. Oh, they're moving again. Where are you going? Where are you going? I don't like this direction. I'm not okay with this direction. You should have gone the other way. Die. Please. Okay. You're dead. Go. You're gonna have to kind of... Man, the wi The base is right here. Let's just see if I can do this. Whistle up. Kill up. Come on. Hey, you're dead, you're dead. Get ready, go. Got a good stun. Can I kill him? Let's not re repeat the mistake. Just bite, 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 bite. Don't give him a chance. Good. Now let's move the base quickly. Is Olimar here? He is. Sweet. And uh, the ship part can turn around wherever it is. Where did it even... There we go. Okay, where am I going? This probably has a ship part. I think the entire... Oh, no, that's not clear yet. We have a third of the day done. So, Florlic, that's nice. Uh, let's not have the yellows here. But still, get our dash on. Die! Nice. Get the yellows. We're going to need them. I think. We might have been able to get this with, with blues. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. Doesn't matter. We got them with both. And there's just plastic this way, though honestly we could really use it. One, two, three, four, five. We could spare it. I really don't need to kill that guy. There's nothing... There's nothing in there, so uh, he, can, he can live. That guy can live. Uh, do we need to... Can we go that way? I don't think we can. Yeah, see, I'm not seeing a way in there, so I think I... I think I ignore that. Yeah, there's no way in there. So... I'm guessing one of the Aristocrabs probably has... Probably has a ship part. So I think we, we go and clear them out. If nothing else, they're going to be annoying on on later days when we're trying to tackle the, the castle. Also, that's a blue onion. Okay. Blitz this guy. Go! I may not have reds right now. But it doesn't much matter. Oh, you're... <laughs> I missed. You're just a small guy. I thought there were two big ones. Uh, maybe not. What is in here? There was the engulfed castle. Is that still here? We have yet to see a cave. There is nothing here. Okay. Alright. 
Uh, can we carry back the big aristocrat? For the yellows, I think? Yeah, I think we probably do that. We'll clean up some of these enemies. Uh, we'll clean that up. Quickly. That should be enough. One more. Yeah, cool. Alright. I don't know how many ship parts we got this episode, but we got quite a few. And we, we opened up this area. That's the important thing. Okay, you guys are going to have to be a little bit faster. Quickly. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Come on. I don't have a spray for you. You're going to have to be faster than that. Although, they should be fine. They should be fine. Come on. Why are you taking that turn? Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Last frame again? <laughs> what is it? What is it in this run? Why? Why do we keep doing that? I mean, it wasn't really important this time. I could have whistled them at any time, and it's not like... It's not like it was something that was going to drastically affect my performance, but the fact that we keep getting that at the very end of the recording is hilarious to me. It wasn't quite the last frame this time, but it was it was close. It was like an identical scenario. Three ship parts. Cool. Almost there. We're almost there. It's, this isn't like the most op optimized run, but it is nice for me to go back into these areas that I've, I've already experienced. So like I'm kind of practiced on them and just watching the improvement, experiencing the improvement, um, especially now that I'm actually starting to split my captains, because that's not really something that I did I did as much as I think I should in the Let's Play, just because so much of it was blind, and I didn't know what I was going to be facing next, and so I didn't know which Pikmin I needed. But here, I have a pretty good idea of what I need. It's pretty, pretty well conveyed, um, and there are only three kinds, so it makes it a lot easier. Cool. Let's, uh... <laughs> We have, we have moss. Hooray. Actually, we have super moss. Triple threat, not really important. And another lightning shock. Are we getting one a day? It kind of feels like it. I wonder if it's a, bu it's a bonus for us getting a bunch of parts in one day. I think that might be it. Either way, I will see you guys tomorrow for another episode of Olimar's Shipwreck Tales. See y'all then. The repairs to my shape, spaceship are progressing, little by little. It's funny. This ship feels like an extension of my own body. Perhaps a clunky arm. I need to fix it so we can escape together. Eight days remain.